potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Yeah, everybody's gonna drive with me full throttle. We're going to the club, then we're going to the store. Gonna drive this car faster than ever before. I don't know. I do this all day long, in case you guys were wondering. I'm Jacob Lettman. You're with me on the Rod Share Hub. I just make up my own songs. I don't know. My head's a weird place. I wouldn't get lost in there. Hey, a great video for you guys today. Thanks for coming back. Love having you here on the Rideshare Hub. In the uh, video description down below, a lot of great stuff for you down there. Check it out. If you haven't started driving, now is the time to start. Got some links on though in there in the description that you can click on. Follow them through. Get signed up. Get sign on bonuses. Get out driving. Make that cash uh, money. That's what we want you to do. Um, all right, hey, today what we got going for you are a little comparison. I wanna talk about driving in the day versus driving at night and driving during the week versus driving on the weekend. So really we're just covering all the different types of rides that you could possibly have out there. So let's go, let's get it going. Uh, so let's start this off, weekday mornings. Here are the things that you can expect driving Uber or Lyft. Um, a lot of morning airport rides, business professionals, especially Monday mornings. A lot of people travel for work, so they're headed to the airport to fly out to wherever they're headed to. Uh, those are always good if you can get those. A lot of those times, those rides will end up in scheduled pickups the day before or days before. So keep an eye on those scheduled pickups for those airport rides because you can always get pinged right at the airport too once you drop someone off. So that's nice. Uh, actually, back that up. It's, what I've been told is that it's only with Lyft now that you get pinged at the airport with drop-offs. And Uber, you actually have to go back to the holding area. I need someone to get in to the comment section below and get at me and let me know if that's true. I was like, what? That sucks. Anyway, let me know. All right. Still, weekday mornings. Um, Things you gotta deal with. Morning traffic can be a nightmare. Uh, uh, here's, oh, here's one of the, yeah, disadvantages. So morning morning traffic, disadvantage. Also, mornings, uh, they don't, they uh, rarely surge, I feel like. Sometimes they surge, but I feel like not for that long. Meh. Um, some things you have to look out for driving uh, weekday mornings more so than any other time I think are unaccompanied minors. A lot of parents try and order Lyfts or Ubers for their kids to send them to school. That's a nah, nah bro, ain't happening. Um, and then parents with with kids or car seats or parents that have kids that need car seats but they don't have them for them. So those are the two things to really look out for I feel like when you're driving weekday mornings. Weekday evenings, let's talk about that. Um, it's probably my least favorite time to drive actually because uh, for, I don't know how this happens, but I honestly feel like traffic in the evenings is worse than the mornings. I'm, how does that happen? Is this, isn't it the same amount of people? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why that is. That's just my personal take, maybe not. But uh, you're gonna get that heavy traffic weekday evenings. And remember that as drivers, mileage is king. We make more on mileage than we do on time. We get stuck in traffic and you just don't make that much at all. Uh, yeah. Um, you're gonna get probably more surge pricing weekdays, but really like Thursday, Friday night. I consider Friday night like a weekend. I lump it in with that. Anyway, uh, and then towards the end of the week, you'll get some event stuff going on too. Uh, if you live near a professional football team, Thursday night football, um, other sporting events. Yeah, so that's the, the crowd to be aware of then. Um, let's get on to the weekend. The weekend. I really like driving Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, um, but Saturday is a good day because 
it's a lot of times there's a lot of families out doing things. Uh, everyone's in a good mood because it's the first day of the weekend. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people. Um, people are prepared to be spending money, so if you give them a good experience, you're going to be making money with tips. Uh, typically and it stays pretty consistently busy there's a lot of events that go on and the weekend days um, things like art festivals and again sporting events uh, music festivals um, carnivals I don't know what do people go to uh, things like that water parks yeah so a lot of a lot of that kind of thing going on the traffic isn't typically as heavy so what I like about those weekend days is that you can stay consistently busy typically, and then, uh, but the traffic's not terrible. Uh, let's see if I missed anything on that that I wanted to say about it. Uh, no, that's pretty good. Um, weekend nights. So weekend nights are really high earning opportunities. That's typically, and I'm, I'm saying Friday, Saturday nights uh, and Sunday nights, but you probably stay the most consistent with rides. These are also nice too. I know a lot of drivers drive during this time because the traffic has died down. Um, traffic's died down. There's a lot more surge pricing. Um, everyone, there's younger crowd, a lot of people going out to bars, stuff like that. Again, people are spending money, prepared to spend money, going out to dinners, they're drinking. Money seems to flow a little bit easier when they're drinking, or if they've drank too much, they totally forget to tip it all. Um, so those are all nice. Uh, I feel like I get higher tips driving weekend nights than any other time. Sometimes business professionals weekday days are pretty good about it. Uh, things to worry about though, right? You get people who aren't, so if they've been drinking, they're not as conscious of your car. And if you have a clean car, take care of it probably get in there get a little rowdy get dirty they're probably louder than normal um what else so oh, it's a good time it is the time to have your puke bags handy and you can deal with um yeah what other situations oh that's the time to look out for uh for people coming in with alcoholic beverages i feel like man if I kept track of it, I would say nearly 20% of my weekend uh, drives try and bring in, uh, you know, open containers of alcohol into my vehicle. So that's a pretty high rate. So those are the things to look out with there. And then you also get, if you're staying out really late, um, that's the time to get the highest surges, typically. People leaving bar, bar closing time. Uh, like here it's 2 a.m., California it's 2 a.m., um, picking up those people, 2 a.m., everyone's coming out, they got nowhere to go, and so those surges will go up, but you can also get the, the really drunk, oh my god, I'm so drunk, I had so many martinis tonight, they were delicious, that would actually be really tame, typically they're like, anyway, yeah, so there you go, you guys, that kind of covers the spread. The absolute worst time to drive is weekday afternoons, like 11 to 3, because there's hardly anybody. There's still people out and about, but it's like the primarily most dead time for driving. Um, yeah, my favorite times to drive are weekday mornings uh, with those business professionals, and then weekend day uh, like the families and stuff like that. Traffic's still pretty easy. But again, if you're looking to make that money, drive those weekend nights. Okay, you guys, that kind of covers the spread. I tell you what, jump down into the comment section below and let me know your favorite time to drive and why that is. And also tell me if you used to drive at a different time and now, or you used to drive at one time and now you drive at a different time and why. I used to drive a lot of weekend nights. Now I drive a lot of weekday days because puke. That's why. All right, that's all I got for you. Everybody drive safe out there. We'll see you next time.